Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Pivot Boss pre market video for Wednesday, November 8th, 2023. I am Frank Ochoa, aka Pivot Boss. Happy hump day, everyone. Here's a look at the daily time frame of the ES. Right now, another narrow range day heading into the RTH open. Today's session right now, 24% of average range and 13.75 points of range. The current three-day narrow range is 30% of average and just 39 points over the three-day span. So 39 points from high to low over the last three sessions. Uh, obviously today, still developing. And this market right now, waiting and holding uh, ahead of Fed Chair Powell soon. So in about one hour here, it's time we have Fed Chair Powell speaking, 8.15 a.m. Central Time, and also again on Thursday afternoon, 1 p.m. Central. So this could provide some volatility here later on at the open. This market has had a significantly bullish short-term trend, but we're now coming up against some medium-term resistance here. Uh, Again, after this strength, we've seen some range-bound action, which is something we talked about la late last week that could be the case. After we've seen that type of range-bound action, we've seen this thing rotate right back down here, given the downtrending characteristics of this market. So this is going to be an interesting spot to watch here. That's the 4425-4430 zone. Watching that area to see how does the market respond up ahead. Do we get a reaction there? Do we get some big rejection? If so, there could be a rotation back down toward the FOMC key level below 4230. Uh, but right now, very strong move here. Last week, holding pattern this week. If it continues to hold much of the week, next week could be a breakout week up ahead. So keeping an eye on this development here. If we take a look at the NQ, this one's pretty much flat on the session right now. Narrow range, doji day, 20% of average range, 52.5 points. And a nice continuation to the upside. Again, huge strength over the last week. This week, starting with a narrow range on a Monday, super narrow, and breaking down and continuing higher on a Tuesday, whereas the uh, YM and the ES were bullish. The NQ was breaking out and, and rallying. It was a, a quite a different vibe there. So this thing continues to remain quite bullish. We're coming into... Overhead resistance, 15.5. We're sitting right at the September FOMC key level. And if again, if we're going to see rejection here in this zone, maybe a little bit higher if we see rejection, that could lead us back to the lower FOMC key level, 14.605, which was just developed here in the recent weeks, uh, 11.01. So uh, right now, very strong, very bullish, not le really looking to fade into the strength just yet, but we may be coming into a spot here where we begin to see some resistance. Fed Chair Powell could provide some volatility soon. We take a look at crude oil. Big down day in the previous session. Huge, huge breakdown. You'll notice right here, massive day of weakness, huge sell-off through the $80 level. Five-day narrow range was broken to the downside. So if you look at the five-day reading here, we had that narrow reading right there. And already we've reached the 125% seven-point target already. And that is really counting back. I said seven days, five days. It's counting back one, two, three, four, five, and taking the highest high. So from that high stretched downward we got the 125 percent target from the breakdown day though of 81s there could still be more downside to the tune of about another couple of points we could be looking at 74 as the next target down uh, in terms of the breakdown point so 81 minus seven points gets you 74 additionally 74 is also the market structure edge uh, after failing here at 84 We've now seen this market make its way down. So 74 could be, still be ahead for this market. And any pullback could still be a selling opportunity. A failed new high tomorrow could offer a continuation as well. Looking at gold futures, gold right now uh, down marginally, held the 1960, bounced off that level in the previous session, didn't quite rally 
tremendously, but was able to bounce off the level about 15 points or so, 10, 15 points. Nice little move. Now, this 1960 level is the bottom end of this narrow range, the top end 2020, and then you have the middle here at the black dot. That's 1990, previous month's close. So expecting price to bounce back to 1990 in the very short term, you know, within the next couple of days, bouncing back up to that level, and maybe even bouncing into the high of the range, 2020. As this range continues to develop, that could lead to another rotation back down. So we're still in the range until proven otherwise. And right now, we could be looking at the early uh, development of these lows down here that gets us back to 1990. Okay, taking a look lastly here at the YM. YM narrow range. Right now, uh, about 25% of average range as well. So if you look at the one day reading right here, it has 109 points of range and 27% of ADR. Uh, so very, very quiet holding pattern. Again, ahead of Fetcher Pal. We do have a one, two, three day narrow range as well right here. That shows 29% of average, very narrow 241 points when it had been somewhere over 700, nearly 800 points. So. Uh, that could be huge coming up ahead. Right now, sitting at the 34,300 level. Again, narrow range up here. Do we get an outside day down? That triggers another round of weakness back to the FOMC key level. Do we get an outside day up and break through the 34,3, which opens up the next zone into 35,4? So this is going to be important right here, being at this edge. Narrow three-day range, narrow one-day range. This market right now building some energy here. Given the short-term trend here, if this market can shake out and form a strong higher low, that could catapult things a bit to the upside. Given the overall downtrend we've seen, though, bears have had the upper hand, so still watching this edge for signs of rejection. All right, that is it for now. We'll see how this develops the rest of the session. Good luck, trade well, and I'll see you in the trading room. Take care.